Michael Brown, that was an Akata. His daddy is an Akata. And it's a shame. Cause his daddy, so he was just like destined. I always said any celebratory of Cum Guzzler Harris uh, by these mammies is all fake and phony. Cause if, if any of these mammies supported that whore. <laughs> nation, one nation. But joy coming Come to the Come on, Joe! We will get through this We gonna get together. through this together, y'all. Together. <laughs> Ooh, Joe, we gonna get through this together. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no, y'all ain't, y'all ain't even considered. Y'all ain't even in the boat. <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Axel of AxeTruth.com and this is the Axe Truth channel. And this is where I cut through the bullshit. I'm telling you, we back at Mayor Watermelon Seeds Adams. <laughs> I knew when I gave him that name, he was gonna earn it and deserve it. <laughs> and he, he definitely deserved it after the, <clears throat> um, he earned it, Mayor Watermelon Seeds Adams. I know people are oh, that's racist. Well, nothing's racist. <laughs> Nothing's racist. That word water has that 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 water ha that water that word has been watered down so much that it has no pop, no zing, no bang. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it's just nothing to a racist that's racist, racism. You I mean it's like beating a dead horse of nothing, but I'm just gonna point this out. We have a racist may I have. You know, Mayor Watermelon Seeds, he's a racist. You know, he, well, he looks at, you know, he calls you saltines. What he think of you guys? Crackers. When he was up in Harlem talking to the brotherins <laughs> and the sisterins. <laughs> so, I mean, I got to make fun of this, but all video sound and music user during this broadcast falls under fair use. Fair use is allowed for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe on copyright under 17 USC 107. So, okay, let's get into it. Here is Mayor um, Watermelon Seeds, you know, here, this is him, you know, talking to his brethren up here in, um, in uh, Harlem. Now, this was filmed by a porter, uh, a, a mixed dude. <laughs> uh, his name was uh, uh, Thomas Lopez Pierre. He's like a president of a, of a Black Lives Matter or something in, in New York, and he released this for leverage. Every day in the police department, I kicked those crackers' ass, man. I was unbelievable in the police department. When <laughs> I kicked those crackers' ass. Hey, <laughs> let's listen to that one one more again, because I just want to say, if we, you know, I want you to switch this around and put this as a white mayor, <laughs> and him saying, um, I just I kicked those niggas' ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I thought so. Uh huh. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. In the police department, I kicked those crackers' ass, man. I was unbelievable in the police department when she went on black to law enforcement. Okay, my sergeant, a lieutenant, and the captain. You know the story. Some people all of a sudden trying to reinvent me. <laughs> See, he was a sergeant, a captain, and a, a, a sergeant, lieutenant, and captain. You know, look, he got promoted in racist, white supremacist America, where the white man has a foot on the black man's belt. Here, on the black man's back, here we have the new mayor, Mayor Watermelon Seeds. He's the mayor of New York, but he also was the police chief, and he got promoted, really. He was kicking those crackers' ass, you know, getting promoted and everything, and racist, white supremacist America, where the black man cannot get ahead. See how, you see how the y'all own shit just <laughs> falls right in your face? <laughs> you know, shit y'all just need to stop saying, but let's, keep, let's carry on with Watermelon Seeds here. Some people all of a sudden trying to reinvent me, but the reality is what I was then is who I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm called again. So it's so interesting. I'm coming right after the sister talking about um, uh, cannabis. I would rather wear white all day, grow a beard, smoke some weed, and leave this stuff alone. <laughs> you hear me? Man, these Negroes, boy, these Negroes that wake up every day and don't like themselves, yeah. they're going to beat me up. The people who say, where's our real black leaders? They're going to say, listen, who's Eric? You know, why does Eric think he should be mayor? Well, Negro, you run. You run. Go raise $7 million. <laughs> hey, 
he doing some real talk up there with them cotton pickles. He telling them, yes. He said, yes, I run. You know, he said, he, he is who he is. His record speaks for himself. And everything, wherever he, wherever he, when he gets into power, don't question him. Don't say nothing. <laughs> or you run, you know, because you're attacking him. You ain't supposed to question because he's black and he's there. <laughs> See, that's how they do. This is what, this is what black, this is their black leadership. This is it. <laughs> right here, this is how they act. And this is how he speak around them. And everything, and it's, it gets it's, it gets even more juicy when he talks about what he's gonna do for them. <laughs> you know, go do this hit. Let me tell you something, man. They are lining up. Oh, yeah. Eric can't be mayor right. yeah. in the corners of the city. They are lining up. They know me. Mm -hmm. They know what I'm about, and they know what I'm going to do as the mayor of the city of New York. Listen, we're not gonna play this game. Okay. We're taking 30% off the top of MWBEs. Not saying give it to a majority company to pass through. No, we're going to take the 30% off the top. Y'all have your 70%. The 30% is going to go straight to the women and minority owned business. Now, let me every day in the police department. Women and minority owned businesses. That money was going, we're going to be taking 30% off the top. That's what we're going to do. That's what he's going to do when he get in. That's what he's telling them brotherings and sisterings up in Harlem. What he going to do? <laughs> oh, wow. I just, I, I look at this and I go like, wow. If this was a white mayor talking and said something, he kicked those niggas ass. And what he was going to do for his white community. <laughs> Make sure white owned White owned businesses got 30% got the money. You could do something else with the other 70%. I'm going to take 30%. Right there, I'm going to do that. I mean, just the whole, this whole thing, it stinks. But it reeks. It, it shows you exactly how, it shows you a lot in, in this when it comes to a lot of these black politicians on the Democratic plan that are Democrats. They are racist. They don't like white people. They call you cracker, <laughs> you know. But but that but I, I I'm okay with that. Those type of blacks need to stay over there because that's what that that side's about racism, racism, and you know the same white liberals over there call them niggas, <laughs> you know. So and they and then they even tell them how dumb they are and they just need and they need their help to do everything. But Mayor Adams did issue an apology for this, you know. And the, the thing about this, you know, here is the guy who broke this who um released the video. His name is Thomas. Lopez Pierre. Ooh. Hmm. Look kind of alphabet soupish to me. Alphabet soupish to me, but nevertheless, he got this video of, of this. He, re, he was there, he recorded it, and he kept it. He said he didn't release it before the campaign because he felt like it was it will prevent him from getting the mayor's winning the mayor's race. And he wanted to, you know, he thinks that, you know, he wanted to, he wants to control this mayor. And he released this right here out just to, for clicks and views. But he had this prior too. He still support, but he said that the mayor is not doing enough for the Black Lives Matter community. community. So he did it for leverage. So here we are, him openly saying why he did this. He put this out here. But Mayor Adams apologized. He issued an apology, I guess, for saying, using a racial slur in a derogatory manner towards a certain group of people as if they are beneath him, which means he's a black supremacist. Because yeah, if it was the word other way around, that person would be a white supremacist. So let's just be fair about it all. But here, here is the, um, the uh, Thomas Lopez Pierre being asked a question about why did he release it, uh, release this video, and what was his purpose? Why did you pick that specific point to walk to start your your um, your clip? Because we live in a social media world, and I knew it would be attentive grabbing. Thomas Lopez Pierre hey. also telling me he didn't release video of the appearance at the time because he thought it would hurt Eric Adams' chances of being elected mayor. He moved now, he said, because he thinks Adams has been spending too much time talking about hiring more cops and not about improving the economic health of minority communities. All I've been hearing is cops this, cops that. You know, listen, black people have been getting killed uh, um, 
Uh, um, there have been more black people killed this year than police officers. Police officers. <laughs> Where is he getting this from? There have been more black people being killed this year than police officers. <laughs> oh, wow. See, oh, gosh. Look, it, it, kilt. <laughs> this is kilt using his, his, he used this for clicks and views, and he's mad at the mayor because the mayor needs to be doing what he want him to do for the Black Lives Matter movement. <laughs> <laughs> openly doing this they just don't see that <laughs> god you know listen black people have been getting killed uh, um uh, um there have been more black people killed this year than police officers <laughs> Bye -bye. police officers decided to put on a uniform they decided to take the risk lopez pierre whose brother was killed by an off-duty cop during a carjacking is no stranger to controversy running for city council in 2017 he tried to use a hundred thousand dollars in taxpayer dollars taken from public campaign matching funds to spread anti-semitic hate attacks against his opponent councilman mark levine oh. Late today adams apologized inappropriate comments should not have been used someone asking me a question using that comment and playing on that road I responded in that comment uh, but a uh, clear <laughs> y'all heard that didn't he get that in? that was the that was that um that man from um living in living color with all the words the word salad this ain't basically what he said let me translate that ebonics talk uh watermelon seed talk did he do that's why I call him watermelon seed because that's how all watermelon seeds just came out. What he said was basically somebody in the room said, well, what about them crackers? And he answered the question talking about how he kicked those crackers ass. You know, see, that's what the question was. That Basically, that's what he was saying. Instead of him just coming, he said, they asked me that using that word in the context of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they was doing their, ne their Negro talk in their Negro space about you crackles. So I just want I just want everybody to know just follow the follow along with this. This is what we're seeing. This is what it is, and you know it's okay. <laughs> it's okay though. <laughs> this is okay. Responded in that comment, uh, but uh, clearly uh, it's a comment that should not be used. And I apologize not only uh, to those who heard it, but to New Yorkers because they should expect more from me, and that was inappropriate. The police unions are standing four square with Adams. Yeah. Both the PBA and the detectives union say actions speak louder than words. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And in a statement, Pat Lynch, the head of the PBA, said in part, we have spent far too many hours together in hospital emergency rooms these past few weeks, and we've worked together for decades before that. A few seconds of video will not define our relationship. Why did you pick that? <laughs> A few seconds of video would not define our relationship. That was mighty white of him. <laughs> you know, when they have allowed, when they have went back and found people's old, go, went back as far as 10, 20 years, look at people old, uh, 15 years, their old Twitter posts, fa Facebook posts, even my page, my space, pull up some of that and use that against a person, especially if you're a cracker, <laughs> you know, uh, if you're a cracker, whatever you say and whatever you post is golden and you're going to be held accountable for it because you have gotten, we, I've seen a lot of crackers lose their jobs behind a post on Facebook by saying all lives matter <laughs> because they didn't want to go with the Black Lives Matter bullshit, <laughs> which was nothing but a money laundering organization for the DNC <laughs> and some crooked blacks. <laughs> That's why they're being investigated now because it's $60 million. Where is it? What y'all do with this money? <laughs> anyway, back to this shit. Anyway, so uh, but Thomas uh, Lopez Pierre just said, you know, he wanted to get, you know, he, he, don't, he don't like what Mayor Adam, Mayor Watermelon Seeds is doing. And what Mayor Watermelon Seeds came out and apologized. So I'm sorry if anyone heard who, uh, who heard it. I, it's unacceptable. Yes, it's unacceptable. That, but that is who you are. But you gave an apology and that's all that we need. Let's move on. See, you see how that goes? See how that black privilege works? I keep hearing about this white privilege thing. I just keep hearing about it. You know, white privilege. They get this, they get that. But yet, in this case, this mayor of a city holding a political office said something, said a racial slur about another race in a derogatory way and talking down to them as if they were he was superior than them. And he used that word in that manner. 
if this was the other way around and that was a white mayor using a were a racial slur <laughs> referring to you know black people what if you said them jigs <laughs> you know you know whatever what if you just said anything them them um <laughs> them uh watermelons <laughs> i mean it would have been anything if that white man would have said that said i kicked their ass i moved up to this 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 and I'm going to get money off the top and give it back to my community, <laughs> specifically a racial demographic. <laughs> you know, that's what, you know, and I mean, it's just, I had to point this out. It's just funny, but, you know, he, had a, he has apologized. We're going to move on from here because we should not let a 10 second, uh, we should not let a, uh, what he said, let me, let me read you the quote here. Um. His actions, on, on the other hand, speaks volumes, and we have seen the mayor's support over the past weeks. Mayor Adams has expressed his regrets, and we hold him to his word. <laughs> and Lopez, Lopez Pierre, I'm reading from the New York Post, who is the founder of Black Lives Matter Real Estate Forum, <laughs> describes himself as an agitator, advoc advocator, and activist, who wrote that he was, so, he was proud to vote for Adams. But black people can trust NYC Mayor Eric Adams to make sure black businesses get billions of dollars in NYC contract mayors and contracts mayor's office. That's how he wrote it. Billions in dollars in New York NYC contract mayor's office. <laughs> He wrote in a video post, and he said, "says so uh, he's going the, the mayor's office going to actually get out uh, give out a lot of contracts to black business owners." He basically just announcing this. This is what we're going to do. You know, he's going to you can rest assured. <laughs> this is what's being written. This is what's written in the New York Post. You know, and I just want to say, if you just look at this for on its for what you know, one police officer said. I guess I'm a cracker supervisor, technically, <laughs> you know, the, you know, and see, the, the thing is, regardless of how you say, you know, if, you know, I'm pretty sure if this would have been Trump saying anything of this nature, talking about black people, if he just said that anything like this, it would be at the top of the hour, every hour on the mainstream media. It'd be in a loop. But here we have a mayor who's receiving the typical black privilege. You can say whatever you want about white people. But if it was the other way around, it will be all hell will break loose. A resignation will be, uh, they will ask for his resignation. And he will be labeled as a white supremacist and a racist. That's how that would be viewed if it was the other way around. But this is black privilege. I don't want to hear anything else about white privilege or any of that other shit that the blacks run around here saying I haven't seen any black people lose their jobs behind saying something about somebody white online have not seen that <laughs> have not seen that haven't seen that haven't seen it at all so miss me with your white privilege put your comments below share the video subscribe to my channel if you want to do that um, or join me live on, my, um, on Mondays and Thursdays when I do my live show and until then you guys have a blessed day take care everyone the one world government, you can't make war with that. Why? There's no government to go against it. It consumes the world, but not God's elect. This is where you've got to understand, and this is why you've got to have strong faith, is to know as long as God is with you, who can be against you? Nobody. As long as you are armed with the sword of the Lord, the truth, and you understand what's happening in the world, God protects you. You and he make a majority. And you can count on that. You can believe it. Uh, 